Hi, it's Carrie. I've got my jumbo sea animals out today. Can you tell me how many times you see Dory swim past? That would be number one. Give a thumbs up if you like sharks and sea animals. The lobster. Lobsters are 10 legged creatures just like shrimps and crabs, their closest relatives. The lobster molts its shell each year to grow a new larger one. The shell cannot expand in size as the lobster grows. Lobsters without shells are easy prey and they usually hide until the new shell grows. That sounds like a very good idea. Ah, there's Squirt! The puffer fish are also known as blowfish. When a predator is after them, they suck in a lot of water and air into their elastic stomachs and become several times their normal size so they won't fit in the predator's mouth. Some species like this one have protective spines on their skin. There is enough toxin in one puffer fish to kill 30 adult humans and there is no known antidote. They are scaleless fish and usually have rough to spiky skin. All have four teeth that are fused together in a beak-like form. They are found in tropical and subtropical ocean waters. But there's a narwhal. The squid has a soft body. As a squid moves through the water, they stretch in the mantle area. This forces water through the funnel. They are very quick as well as agile in the water. When a squid feels that they are in danger, they release a darkened cloud as they try to make their rapid escape. A squid has gills, which it uses to breathe through. It doesn't need to surface for air. Squid swim legs first. My diver Michelle. Michelle is one of my scuba divers. She loves looking at all the colourful sea creatures and they really love her too. And there's a jellyfish. Blue crab. Crabs are also known as decapods because they have ten legs. The first pair of legs is modified into claws or chile. Crabs walk and swim sideways. The claws are blue but its shell or carapace is a mottled brown colour. Crabs have eyes on stalks just like snails. They are excellent swimmers with specially adapted hind appendages shaped like paddles. To escape predators, they bury into the sand. They feed on almost anything they can find. And here is the Galapagos Island Sally Lightfoot Crab Swimming Tree. The Cow Nose Ray. They are related to sharks and skates. They get their name from their forehead, which looks like a cow's nose. They are brown to olive coloured on top and pale underneath. They grow to between 2 and 3 feet or 60 to 90 centimetres. They have an excellent sense of smell and touch as well as electroreceptors on their snouts to help locate prey. To find prey they stir up the bottom with their wingtips or noses. The Horseshoe Crab the horseshoe crab is also known as the king crab. It is a hard shelled invertebrate found on the seafloor in warmer shallow coastal waters. The horseshoe crab has a hard outer shell and five pairs of legs and a long thin tail which it uses for changing direction when swimming. 
It's actually not a crab and is more closely related to spiders and scorpions. Pacific octopus grows bigger and lives longer than any other octopus species. The largest one was 30 feet or 9 meters across and weighed an enormous 600 pounds or 270 kilograms. An average size is more likely to be 16 feet or 5 meters, about half of that. The giant Pacific octopus has huge bulbous heads and are generally reddish brown in colour. They are able to change their skin colour and textures to blend in with the corals, plants and rocks. They are found in the temperate waters of the Pacific and there's a little dolphin going through there. The queen trigger fish lives in coral reefs in shallow water. It's an amazing looking fish with its beautiful colouring and blue highlights on the face and fins and dark lines radiating from the eyes. The goldfish they are descendants of carp and originated from China. They have teeth in their throat which are used to crush their food. Goldfish don't blink because they have no eyelids and they actually sleep with their eyes open. Oh, there's a hammerhead shark in the background. The piranha lives in the rivers of the South American jungles. It has a single row of razor sharp teeth that are triangular in shape and are used to puncture and rip into their prey. They live together in large shoals and feeding frenzies will be triggered when there is blood in the water. Piranhas are capable of stripping their prey of flesh in a matter of minutes and when frenzied, will even bite one another in the process. The moray eel lives in holes and crevices amongst the rocks and coral on the ocean floor where it can also ambush prey. It is found in warm and temperate waters all around the world. Even though it looks snake-like, it is a fish, not a reptile. They have an elongated body, slightly flattened towards the tail. Moray eels also have large eyes and mouths, which contain large teeth. They are found in both deep and shallow waters in tropical and subtropical regions. I really like this large crocodile. The largest saltwater crocodile found was over 20 feet or 6 meters long. This is a really nice model, it's quite soft to touch, yet it's got lots of teeth there. There's a sea lion. The great white shark. 
Inside those jaws are 300 serrated triangular teeth. The first two rows of teeth are used for grabbing and cutting prey. The teeth in the last rows can rotate forward when the front teeth are broken or lost. When the great white attacks, it bites its prey and shakes its head back and forth. The serrated teeth act as a saw and literally tear the victim apart. And love to read your comments. Tsunami alert! Tsunami alert! Thank you for watching my video. Please share my videos with your friends. See you again soon.